Hello. This video is part of the Kinesis uh, Data Analytics Apache Flink uh, Git repository and sample code slash project I have online. The purpose of this video is to cover the topic of sending data to Kinesis Data Stream. So as part of this project, if you plan on running some of the notebooks that use Apache Flink code, um, you know, as an example, there's on the home page here, there's these interactive and there's these deployable Zeppelin notebooks you can use to get a hang for writing uh, Flink through Streaming SQL. You're going to need to be able to send data to Kinesis Data Stream sample data. Um, and in the case of this project, we use the New York City taxicab data. So I already did a video and provide you one method of sending data to Kinesis data streams, which is through using a Python script. So if you go here to the uh, data producer folder, you have the ability to run this Python script either on your desktop or in a, cl a Cloud9 environment in AWS, and that'll send data to your uh, Kinesis data stream so that you can complete the subsequent labs with some sample data. Um, if you don't want to use a Python script or Cloud9 or desktop, then this is the right video for you. The other alternative is I've put together a Zeppelin notebook that you can run that will also send sample data. So let's take a look at that notebook. And again, right, the purpose here is you want to send sample data to your Kinesis data stream so you can complete the subsequent labs. Um, but instead of using the Python script, you want to use a, another Kinesis Data Analytics notebook. So I'm here on the AWS homepage I'm here in Kinesis. Um, I already have my data stream deployed. Um, if you need to help uh, doing this step, uh, do reference the first part of the first video here um, through the Python script that'll walk you through how to set that up. And let's go to um, Analytics Applications. We'll go to Studio. Uh, let me open this in Zeppelin. I already have it running. All right, fantastic. And what I've done is there's this notebook here, NYC Taxi Producer KDA Zeppelin Notebook that I've uploaded. I've got in this notebook from under Kinesis Data Producer. Um, it's here in the repository. This is what the notebook looks like. Um, as a as a prerequisite, um, what I've done is in an S3 bucket. I've uploaded this data set, yellow trip data, 2020-01, no header CSV. Um, you can retrieve that data set from uh, here in the repository. And what I've also done is in this first uh, streaming SQL statement, I've matched the file path here with the exact path of that, uh, no, that sample data set that I uploaded. So this will, you know, when you're doing this, is most likely to be different for you because your bucket will be named something different. So that's, you know, it's noted up here in the markdown, but make sure to complete that. Once you have that set, let's create a table. Uh, this table is based on the file system, so it's based on that sample data in S3. Um, if this table is successfully created, uh, what we should be able to do is we should be able to do a select from that table. And this will basically Flink will query some of that data that's in S3 and show us a sample of it. So if, if this window fills up with some sample data, then we know that that table successfully connected to the correct CSV file in S3 that you've uploaded. Great. Cancel it. And you see a sample of the data and it looks good too. So what we'll do next is we'll create another table. Um, and one thing to note is these are temporary tables that we're creating. So since they're temporary tables, they're not being registered with the Glue Data Catalog. Um, we're just using this to produce data kind of behind the scenes, so that's okay. And
then this table, you'll notice we've used the Kinesis connector and we've set it the value here equal to the name of our Kinesis data stream. So the Kinesis data stream that I've deployed is yellow cab trip. Cab trip. So now what I have is I have a table in my notebook, their temporary table, so the local to this notebook, but I have enabled a table that's based on S3 and a table that's based on the Kinesis data stream. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Flink send the data select from the S3 base table into the Kinesis base table. And what that's essentially going to do is it's going to take the data from S3 uh, Flink, it's going to pick it up and then send it into the stream and load that sample stream with data. So what you can do is when you're completing the other labs um, in this repository, so you know maybe you're doing one of the interactive or deployable labs, you can leave this running in a separate window behind the scenes and it'll just keep sending that data from S3 into the uh, uh, Kinesis data stream and the other notebooks when you're working on them can pick up that data and use it as sample data. So we've created this table and let's do that select into or insert into. Great, and, and this, you won't really see any output here. This will just uh, keep running. Uh, one thing that we can do optionally in this notebook, if you just wanna be extra sure that this is actually working, is we can just create a simple table uh, with the raw um, format uh, based on that Kinesis data stream. And we can do a select on that table and we can see if we're able to actually see that data. Um, and if we are, then, you know, then we know that that we're working successfully. Great, fantastic. So you can see there's data here. And this is being pulled off the data stream. And this is the data that's being sent in this step ahead. So what you can now do is you can leave this part running behind the scenes, just leave this uh, notebook open as a separate tab in your web browser, and you can move on to the subsequent labs and let this continue to send sample data for you.